Bow. What's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean and today we're going to talk about how musician, writer, comedian and so much more Childish Gambino aka Donald Glover not only does it all but does it all on such a high level. But first we got to be reminded that things haven't always been this way. Back in 2010 in an interview with the LA Times, Donald Glover said, I don't think they think the guy who wrote for 30 Rock is also the guy on Community who's also the guy in Bro Rape. There's so many things that I've done. I get frustrated like connect the dots eventually they'll catch up and catch up they have but how did he get here so back in 2006 Donald Glover was working with Derek Comedy and he was essentially scouted to work with 30 Rock and he worked with 30 Rock from 2006 to 2009 for those of you guys who do not know 30 Rock was a highly successful show because I know a lot of his demographic that he serves now is completely different than the show of 30 Rock while working on 30 Rock Donald Glover starts to experiment and practice doing his stand-up comedy and then you fast forward to 2009 Donald Glover starts to work for community and this is him being a lot more in front of the scenes he did get in front of camera on 30 Rock at times but it was nothing like his character on community where he played a consistent character that actually helped make the show. Donald Glover was able to leverage the face value and name that he developed from Community to actually have his own stand-up special in 2010. In 2012, he had his first full-length one-hour special, Weirdo, which is a huge deal. It's kind of like an artist equivalent of having their first full-length album. He's using one platform to get into another platform. He never waits till something completely dies out before moving into another field that he wants to go into. Derek Comedy went on for years. As a matter of fact, it was only near the beginning when Donald Glover went to the next level of working with 30 Rock. 30 Rock obviously is a successful show. He still left that show after only three years and then moved into community and his comedy a lot more full time. And he ends up leaving community before it drops off as a TV show in 2013. And what did he do when we left community? Music obviously. So let's get into the music side of things. Back in 2008 was when Donald Glover dropped his first project called Sick Boy. Now if you haven't heard this project yet, you might have seen at least the artwork. It's been Basically like this picture of a boy that kind of looks like he could be the cousin of home star runner but of course it doesn't end there so let's fast forward four years to 2011 where he drops his first project that could at least be considered more of a cult classic and in 2013 although Donald Glover said he didn't leave community to focus on music we can't look at that as being the same year that he really started to blow up because that was when he dropped because the internet and at that point we all pretty much know the staple that Donald Glover began to become in music three years later especially when he said solidified it, nailing it on the head with Awaken My Love, blowing people's minds when he dropped Redbone, which was essentially not like a modernization of 1970s Funkadelics. It was literally like just taking a 1970s track and dropping it in 2017, well, 16. And in that same year of 2016, he premieres his now hit TV show, Atlanta. And the funny part about that is this is when that quote that Donald Glover had at the beginning of this video finally starts to come into fruition because people's mind were blown by how good Atlanta was as a TV show, not realizing that this is what Donald Glover started doing. And also a shocker to a lot of people is the fact that Donald Glover basically said he's done doing his music or done with rap. But if you understand Donald Glover's mindset and how he works, it's actually not surprising at all. If you look at his pattern, I already spoke about how he jumps into another field that he wants to participate in while he's hot in one field, because if you realize there's a lot of leverage while you're hot at something to move into other categories while everybody wants to know you and thinks highly of you but even greater than that from an audience perspective it looks like wow this man is doing all of these things at a high level but if you look at his behavior it makes complete sense 2008 was when he dropped his first official music project but it really wasn't until 2013 that he became a household name so what you see is while he's successful in one area he's also always practicing something else that he wants to do in the future Future, and when he sees the right opportunity, he'll bring that to the forefront. The people are surprised, but I can guarantee you he isn't because he knows the groundwork he's been laying over time. And the thing is, Donald Glover basically told everybody that when he said, I started doing 30 Rock and started writing Mystery Team at the beginning of that. While I was doing Mystery Team, I started practicing stand up. While I was doing stand up, I got community. It's like I planted trees six years ago and now they have fruit. People are like, how is this guy doing all these things? But he's been 
cultivating these skills for over a decade when you talk about comedic writing and then over half a decade at least when it comes to the music. And as you guys who watch this channel regularly know, I'm constantly pushing the fact that we're seeing these microwave condensed narratives of people. We don't really get to see all the work that they've put in behind the scenes, which is skewing what people think they have to do to actually do the same thing. Donald Glover is focusing in one area while he's bettering other areas and then he switches his focus. Every time he's, you see that he leaves one thing, the next thing that he switches his focus to is where you start to see a lot of traction happen. You can't push it all at once, which reminds me of a quote that I love by Tony Robbins when he basically says, people usually overestimate what they can do in a year, but they underestimate what they can do in 10 years. And that's super perfect for this conversation here because when Donald Glover did Atlanta, it was 10 years exactly from when he started working on 30 Rock. You can do it all, but you can't do it all at once. That's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.